The 911 calls in Texas. What's the threat? The flu. <coughs> Dr. John LaPook on the outbreak. So far this year, insurance companies have paid out at least $100 million more than last year to cover doctor and hospital visits. The CDC reports the number of cases is starting to ease in most parts of the country, but remains widespread in 47 states. Dr. John LaPook now reports on the trouble in Texas. We got you. In Tarrant County, Texas, flu cases have nearly tripled since the beginning of December. Four more ambulances have been added to Mobile MedStar's fleet in Fort Worth. Spokesman Matt Zavadaski says emergency calls are up 15 percent over last year. We dispatched call number 253, so we're at our daily average and we still have eight hours of our busiest time frame to go for today. An ambulance headed to the home of a woman with kidney problems and diabetes. I don't even feel bad. She called 911 after feeling ill for a couple of days. We have an elderly patient who has pre-existing medical conditions. They get flu-like symptoms. It gets exacerbated because of their underlying medical conditions to the point where they have to call 911 and go to the emergency room for treatment. Sometimes MedStar ambulances double as waiting rooms when area hospitals become overcrowded. The CDC says the elderly make up half of all hospitalizations. At Windsor Senior Living in Dallas, the focus is on prevention. Staff members respond quickly if a resident shows any flu-like symptoms. If they don't feel good or don't act like they're feeling good, then uh, they'll send them back to the rooms. Two years ago, the building was quarantined during a flu outbreak. Very Clinical very Director good. Carmelita Dolores does not want a repeat of that misery. There's no life walking in the hallways. They're not even allowed to go and check their mailboxes except one by one. The CDC has issued a reminder to nursing homes on the steps needed to prevent an outbreak at their facility. Healthcare workers should make sure all residents and staff get vaccinated and promptly treat any resident who shows signs of the flu. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.